Hey everybody, it is Tommy Nicole. Um, first and foremost, thank you for being in this group. Um, it's a very intimate group and for those of you that are in here, it means a lot to me because I really share um, truth and I'm not here to pull the wool over anybody's eyes and tell them that this is a quick, a quick fix or a quick money maker or anything like that, but I am here to tell you just how much um, it has turned my life around in just in two months. And um, who am I to not share it with anybody that just might be having a peaked interest? Um, I am going to tell you who I am, my story, how I got started, uh, my biggest obstacles, and <coughs> <coughs> just what it's doing for me, um, both uh, personally, financially, um, mindset, I don't know, just you name it. It's really just in each time I do these, I get stronger and better and I just get more confident as a person. I'm building that confidence muscle. So if you don't know me and you're new to the group, welcome. I am doing some pre-recorded videos for tonight just because um, I don't want to get behind and you know I want you guys to be able to watch them as you need to. So I might even share this one a day early. I don't know. But... Um, First and foremost, I am a mom of a busy, busy go-getter, all boy. He is three years old um, on the 15th of June, and he weighs 55 pounds. So for me to pick him up right now is almost non-existent, but he is the light of my life, keeps me going, has pushed me to want to do so many things and so much more for him. And if you're new to my story, my husband um, has become not only my husband, but my true best friend and my true soulmate. We've been married um, since 2013, and it hasn't been pretty. It's been a long road for us, and um, just less than two years ago, I hated him, and I didn't think that we would make it, and I didn't think that we would be here where we are today. And I just, I share this with you guys for encouragement, not just for this business, but this is real life. And you've got to have positive people, supportive people, uplifting people in your life to get through some of those most difficult times. And, um, yeah, we've just done that. So, I apologize for the emotional. <laughs> it's just, it's real life though. So, um... Just to give you a little bit of a backstory, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. Did I believe I would succeed? No. But did I want to go to work for somebody else and you know listen to their rules and regulations and let them dictate my life? No. Um, I always felt like a caged monkey. I felt like they were um, just slowing me down. And so um, when my son was born, I was blessed enough that my husband let me stay home because we felt like daycare was going to cost more. But I knew I wanted to bring an income in to help us out. And um, I started in another network marketing company, um, a health and fitness one that was my passion at the time. And it still is my passion, but it's not where God has called me. And so um, initially I made some great money right up front, but I was doing everything wrong. <coughs> I was neglecting my husband. I was neglecting church. I was neglecting my family and, um, you know, not doing everything right. And so God showed me this opportunity and then he let it crumble before me and that was about the downward spiral of everything in my husband and I's life and so it just continued to get worse and worse until I started to listen to what God was trying to show me and tell me um, and the minute you guys I cannot express this enough the minute that I laid down my life and accepted his fully his journey for me um, is when my life began to change so back in October not only did I find out I was pregnant but um, I also finally committed to living in the local, and now we're building a house, um, to attending a church that I did not want to attend, and um, supporting my husband with his business and helping him grow it and helping him do the books and stuff behind it. Um, was I passionate about it? No. But was I honoring? Yes. And I did it faithfully every day. And then um, from October until March, March, the week, I can remember the exact weekend, and I'm terrible with dates. Um, I couldn't even tell you the exact years my husband and I have been married. That's why I said 2013. But this is such a significant thing in my life that um, I, ha I know it. So March 16th, 17th, <coughs> we took a little mini vacation. And um, this is kind of built up to this. My husband had brought this to my attention a few times. But I had no interest because God had shut that door. So I thought... 
and um, he told me that he wanted me basically to look into this business because his buddy's wife was doing so good at it and I was like no 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 you know previous whatever well this one night he's like Tommy my husband's retire or my buddy's um, is retiring in April due to his wife doing so well and I'm like oh that's great congratulations and he just kind of kept talking about it and if you follow my husband's story and I um, he's had no desire in network marketing whatsoever he wasn't supportive in my last business he thought that I was wasting my time and my energy and so I'm like well who's his wife and so he showed me a picture of her and I just happened to know her through acquaintances I didn't know her personally I never met her face to face and um, I'm like well that's exciting for them and then I laid down in bed and was reading a book and I call this a God bomb God kind of dropped this little boop and he's like message her and I'm like I just disregarded I'm like no I'm not gonna do it and just kept reading 45 minutes later message her Tommy I'm like okay this is not normal <laughs> so I messaged her and I was very vulnerable and I told her everything about my life where we were what we were doing what we wanted to accomplish and that night um, the very next night March 17th her husband and her and my husband and I got on a zoom call where your video and he, they just shared their heart and their story and their faith and I think that's what attracted my husband and I most was the faith because my husband and I've come full circle we've been on a long journey and so March 18th you guys I dove in head first to this shampoo company um, I didn't know I knew nothing about hair I didn't care about hair besides the fact that I wanted my hair to look good and I lived <coughs> please forgive me I lived in ponytails and ball caps 90% of the time because my hair was the type that um, I could wash it one day and the very next day it'd be so oily I could slick it back and it would stay put it wasn't growing um, I was even thinking about doing extensions just to have some growth um, it just you name it and I that's really all I knew and so I thought what what am I doing you know who is gonna listen to me about hair care so I just dove in I learned everything I could I share vulnerably I you know share my journeys I share other successes my successes and that's really just what has brought me full circle um, I committed I have committed to a year no matter how hard I think this is and I'll be honest with you there's a couple times that I've been like this is not for me I cannot do this but as you know any type of business you do it takes time you can't expect miracles in um, two months of course I'm close I feel like to a miracle but you can't expect that you you have to just keep going and be consistent and um, over time it just compounds and that's really what's happening when we share our heart and we truly care about people um, so when I dove into this I had no my I was getting a monthly paycheck from my husband um, I no longer get that because my husband is also resigned so we have no corporate paychecks we have no nine to five paychecks we are working for ourselves and you're probably thinking well isn't that nice and glorious hoo-ha toot your horn no it's not because my husband and I um, we still have some debt we have a three-year-old we're expecting one in July and we're building a house for cash and um, we just had a serious conversation of fact this morning that um, our budget has kind of been blown due to a plumbing thing and um, you know we have to make we have to work harder we have to make it go and that that's one thing that I love about this business is I dictate what I make I how hard I work is what comes in and how hard I don't nothing comes in and you know it's a weekend it's a holiday weekend and I my husband and I left ahead of me to go to the pool and um, I'm okay with that because I get to leave here as soon as this is over and go do that with them um, And I'm sorry, but I want you guys to understand that I've spent the last three years, my son and I, we'd go by ourselves. We would go and um, travel to see my family. We would go and do things for his birthday or we'd go and do this. And it's not that my husband didn't want to be there, but it was because he couldn't because we had, we were so strapped and we had to make the ends meet. And he was working two jobs. He's working his school job and he was working our business just so that we could have this luxury. And now, as we speak, we get the choice to work as we want and do as we want and to spend that time with our, my son together. It's as a family. And so 
I hope you guys can understand that this isn't just a me trying to build a team for my benefit and for my money. I share these stories with you because I want you guys to know that you can have all you dream of. Um, if you just have that little bit of passion and you have a drive and you have your why, um, anything is possible. You guys, I was terrified when I first started this. Um, this is really going really long, so I'm probably going to share it the day before. My first ones always do. Um, Here it goes again. I'm so sorry. When I first started this business back in March, I was terrified. I thought, who is going to listen to me? Who's going to trust me? Who's going to care about what I have to say about hair? And who's going to judge me? Who's going to make fun of me? Because this um, company kind of hit a kink. Um, they were being sued. Uh, over some false claims. They end up winning the court case. You can research it um, all you want. Like I said, I'm very transparent and I want you guys to know it all. And so I thought, who's going to believe in me? And um, at first, you guys, I created a specialized list on Facebook so that if I posted certain family, friends, and people that I didn't want to see the post wouldn't. And um, because I didn't want to deal with them. I didn't want to deal with their judgment. I didn't want to deal with their critics. And now, this day, um, I deleted that list. I'm like, forget it. You know what? I'm doing what I love. I have more joy and more peace in my heart than I ever have. And I don't care what anybody says because what, how they feel about me does not dictate my life, does not dictate who I am, does not dictate who God has created me to be. So I want you guys to know that um, I share this with complete transparency and full love for you to know that if you decide to take this leap of faith with me in this commitment that um, next this next month June is all about you guys I'm giving you everything I do I'm sharing everything I do we find your niche we find your path and we work it until you have that success that you want um, I just posted in this group earlier this week about what's your number and that's what you want to achieve in a month and if you know that um, it's so possible I mean within reason you guys can't tell me a hundred grand in a month because that ain't gonna happen but it's very likely it could happen in six months to a year don't don't discount it because it so can so again I'm grateful for each and every one of you and I want you guys to know that I do this um, from the heart and it's not a it's not a all about me it's more about you helping you get on that same path where I'm at and achieving those dreams that you want so thank you guys for being here and I look forward to connecting with you with the rest of the videos have a great day bye